Hello, I've had Molly out for a walk this morning and we've, uh, we've managed to bag ourselves a couple of more lils. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put the molehill soil through this riddle, take out any stones. I'll be very surprised if there are any stones in here because moles don't tend to bring stones to the surface, I don't know why. I think I've asked this question before and never really had a satisfactory answer. And this uh, soil by the way, it's a clay soil. You can see it's a clay soil, look at if I can get these little things out there. I don't know if you can tell that, but it, it's, there's a lot balled up there. But they're not stones, that's just balled up soil. Um, in fact, if I go like that, it might ball up even further. Yeah, it does. Look. That's balled up clay soil. Um, okay. So, no stones there. And this is um, two molehills worth of good quality topsoil. It's out there in the environment. It won't be damaging the environment by taking it, I don't think. Not the quantities gardeners are going to be taking. Not a single stone, look at that. Not a single, not a single, oh yeah. <laughs> no there isn't. Oh, we're gonna call that a stone. <laughs> Get out of that. Okay, that's our molehill soil, look at that. Beautiful. And what I'm going to do now, um, because we've been taking out early potatoes, I've got some compost that has already grown potatoes this year. We're going to mix it in with this, invigorate the compost that's already been used and use it again. How good is that? Okay, I'll bring this bag around here. Let me just see if I can show you the different colour here. I don't know if... Can you see that? This is a soil from Morehills. A browny colour. This is a spent compost, a much darker colour. Okay. In fact, what we'll do is we'll have the bath. I'm not too sure if this will work. What sort of visual you'll get here? Okay, can you see the difference in colour? Perhaps up this end of the barrel. I don't know. Spent compost, and in that there'll be... Oh, I don't know, there's got to be some leaves in there, some seaweed in there. Some co I don't know, there could be all kinds in there. I've used it once, I'm going to use it again. And what we're going to do today, we're going to plant leeks. Um, a traditional crop to go in after early potatoes, but what we'll do is we'll mix this first. We can use our hands, it's as clean it, as clean as clean can be, this stuff. Hi Molly, how are you keeping an eye on things? Good lass. As 
that postman been today yet. Uh, I haven't heard you back. Okay, how's that? That's looking good. Right then, now then, before we go any further, what's the best way to plant leeks? Okay, well if you're growing in an allotment, my guess is you're growing a row of those things. You probably dibble some holes in a straight line. Uh, you've started your leeks off indoors in the greenhouse. You've now got them outside, you've possibly trimmed the roots and you've trimmed the leaves and you're going to drop them in the holes, water them in, you're not going to fill the holes with any soil or compost and that's it. And that will work. Um, and if it works for you, that's the way to do it, isn't it? But we're only growing in pots, um, so we're not putting hundreds of these things in so we can be, we can spend a bit more time with it. Um, so let me just show you these leeks that I'm going to be planting. These are them, grown in a module. There's the root ball. Okay, there's four of them. We're going to put four in this pot. Now I have grown ten leeks in a ten inch pot before and it did get a good result. Uh, and that result's on the channel somewhere. Uh, so if you want to go in under something like, I don't know, ten leeks in a ten inch pot, you possibly find it and you'll see the result. But what I, want, what I want to talk about today is how far you would actually put these things in and how much um, uh, blanched um, shank you could expect, how much white you could expect in a 10 inch pot. Okay, just before we plant these, let me just show you the 10 inch pot and the trick I use. Okay, 10 inch pot, right? 10 inch diameter, it's about 10 inch deep and it holds 10 litres of compost. It used to be a cut flower water bucket. Okay, you've got it full spec, full spec. So we're going to fill this with compost, this mix in the batter, and then we're going to plant four leeks evenly spaced. Okay, now if you've grown leeks before, you'll know that the root ball on a leek can be significant. It likes to put roots down. And there isn't a great deal of space in this pot for four leeks to get the roots down. So we want to give them maximum uh, amount of compost to do that. So we, need, we don't want to plant these leeks too deep. So for example, if we planted the leek, I don't know, four inches down, then that amount of compost would not hold any roots. If we planted the leek six inches down, which is over halfway, that amount of compost would hold no roots. All the roots would have to grow in this bottom third, bottom half of the pot. We don't want that. There isn't enough room. So, okay, so then you say, well, if we plant the leeks shallow, they won't have any um, white shank on them. There'll be, there'll be no leak in the pot other than the leak roots. Well, let me show you something. Let's fill this pot up first. And then let's plant some leeks. And I'll show you something that definitely works. And I know it works because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the text below the video and I want you to take a look at the four leeks that I've harvested. Now walk. Okay. So we're going to get these guys in there, no more than an inch deep. Okay. Now then. So where's the white going to come from? How are we going to create that blanched uh, shank? Well, let me show you this. You've seen these guys before. These are plastic lemonade bottles with the tops and the bottoms cut off. There is four of them. And they're simply stapled. Bump, 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 bump. Same on the bottom. They sit perfectly on the top of that pot. I think I might need to tilt this now. They sit perfectly on the top of that pot. Okay. Now we're going to use these initially as a windbreak. So when we plant these guys, we don't want them to blow over. And there's every chance that that could happen. So we'll put these guys on as windbreaks. But 
as the leak grows inside the windbreak and starts to come over the top, right, we'll then start and think about blanching these guys. Now, you can use the inside of toilet rolls, you can use the inside of kitchen rolls, any cardboard tube, but what I've got is some felt. Okay, now when the leak's big enough, I'll simply pop that felt inside that tube, like this. And now the leak's growing in total darkness in there. The leaves will be over the top, it'll be getting light up here, but it'll be getting no light down here. Can you see that? It'll get, it'll get light above this blind, but no light in there. And that's where the white comes from, that's where the shank comes from. Now walk okay. here. This is the deal. Okay. And pop these guys in. This is the deal. Um, I've got a video on my channel now from last year and I'll put a link on in the text below this uh, video. And what I want to ask you is how much, bear in mind these are only going in about an inch, probably not much more than that, how much white shank do you think we'll be able to get on these leaks? We're only putting them in an inch. What do you reckon? Three inches? Four inches, five inches, come on, higher, higher! Six inches, seven inches, how much white? How much white shank? We're only going in an inch. How much white shank? Well, I'm going to tell you now. There's more white shank on those leaks than the depth of this pot. Have a look at that video. It's unbelievable. Right? So, there's our leaks planted. The roots are probably only an inch down now. They've got another nine inches of depth to grow in that pot, uh, to fill that pot with roots. And we'll create the blanched leak above the compost rather than below the compost. Simply by putting this cover on. Like that, you can see, lean it towards the camera, put the cover on like that, we load it in place, oh excuse me, we load it in place with a couple of sticks, so that won't blow off, like that, you got that now, and when these leaks are big enough, when they're starting to come over the top and I'm confident that they're growing well, We'll insert that just like just like that. Okay, and that will blanch up that leak. And you'll be amazed at just how much weight you can get on a leak that's only planted an inch deep in a 10-inch pot. Check that video out. Honest, you'll be. Uh, Oh, and don't forget the other video as well, the one where I planted 10 leaks. I've got a good result with that. Okay, so we'll just give these guys a water now. If I can find my watering can. Yeah, it's here. And then we'll call it a day. And incidentally, these leaks are muscle bread. And I've already got about four of these pots away, I think, using recycled compost fired up with a bit of blood fish and bone. There was blood fish and bone in that compost by the way and some coffee grounds. Uh, and also if I've been lucky enough to find some molehills I've incorporated that uh, free topsoil as well. Okay so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is homegrown veg signing out. <laughs>